Today I'm going to be sharing three amazing tretinoin pairings that really help to maximize my skincare routines. And I am a big fan of layering up my products together because when I do this, I do achieve quicker results depending on the concern that I have at that time. Do you need to pair up additional ingredients and products with tretinoin? No, you don't need to because honestly tretinoin or let's say retinol or retinaldehyde, they are all great on their own because they target so many skin concerns like softening fine lines, improving texture and tone. They help with acne prone skin as well. So you don't need to pair up certain ingredients with them, but if you are looking to achieve maximum results and you want more out of your skincare routine, then these three pairings are exceptional and I do like to rotate back and forth depending on what I feel like using at that time. So let's get right into today's video and of course everything that I'm sharing will be linked below for you for your reference. So the tretinoin that I am using, especially if you're new here, is by Steva A, and this is the 0.05% strength. If you're not using tretinoin or you can't get your hands on it, don't worry because these pairings that I'm sharing today work well with either a retinol or a retinol to hide. So it doesn't matter which one you pick here, you will still achieve. And I hope that you achieve great results because again, I have seen the biggest difference. So with the three pairings that I'm sharing today, this is the product that I am referring to. So the first pairing that I like to use with tretinoin is with azelaic acid. Now before I share that, there's always a product that I like to use before my tretinoin and azelaic acid, and it's the Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5. So you're going to see this with the three pairings that I'm sharing today because I always, always incorporate a hydrating serum of some kind when I am using tretinoin because this really helps to keep the skin hydrated and comfortable but also repaired as well. And as you know, with tretinoin and sometimes a retinol or a retinol to hide, these can cause some dryness. And I am a big fan of hydrating serums and I use this actually every day, twice a day, even in my morning routine. So this is the first product that I would apply. Then I would go in with my tretinoin cream, a pea-sized amount. And by the way, if you would like to learn more about tretinoin and what types of hacks that you can do when you're using this, especially if you're a beginner, I recently shared a video on my tretinoin hacks. So I will leave that video below for you and up here if you're interested in watching that. So I apply a pea-sized amount of this, I put it all over, then I go in with azelaic acid. Now I like to use the Finacea brand. This is a prescription strength at a 15%. If you can't get your hands on 15% or higher, then of course there are other options. And this is a great one from the Inky List. This is a 10% strength. Now, azelaic acid is wonderful for redness, for rosacea, for sensitive prone skin. If you're acne prone, azelaic acid honestly is one of the best ingredients to really help with so many skin concerns. And when I paired this up with tretinoin, which by the way was an experiment, I wasn't sure how my skin was going to react, but you guys know, especially if you've been with me for a while, I do have a little bit of redness to my skin naturally, and I am breakout prone. I can break out. And since combining azelaic acid with tretinoin, I honestly never break out. Like once in a while I will, but not to the extent that I used to see back before using this pairing. So this has really improved the acne. I shouldn't say this product in particular because I am the most consistent with this brand, but yeah, like I see the biggest difference with this pairing in terms of acne, but also the azelaic acid has really toned down on that rosiness that I have also. So it has really improved that unevenness with my skin. So if you have acne prone skin, you have redness, you're looking for something to really help with that uneven skin tone, try using azelaic acid with your tretinoin. And of course, I do like to pair up the amino acids plus B5 for hydration because in my opinion, this is really important when you're using products like this. The next pairing is using tretinoin with peptides. Peptides are great to soften fine lines and wrinkles. They're great to firm the skin and to help build new collagen. And peptides are honestly great on their own. So if you can't use tretinoin or any type of active ingredient, you can't use vitamin C, 
then peptides really are the next best ingredient to use for prevention, but also to help soften fine lines and wrinkles. And recently I did share my favorite peptide serums and my peptide creams. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I'm going to leave them below for you as well as up here, because if I'm not using this product, then I am using something else from that peptide serum video. So this is from Paula's Choice, and this is the Pro Collagen Multi Peptide Booster. So this has your peptides, but the formula is also quite hydrating, which is why this is one of my favorites to use with tretinoin, because again, Again, as you know, this product can be a little drying on the skin. It can create that flakiness. So I like to keep my skin as hydrated as possible when I'm using products like this. And I'm telling you, this pairing really helps to address signs of aging and it really does help with that texture and tone of the skin also. So when I'm using this pairing, I will use the amino acids first. Then I will go in with the peptide serum of choice. I will then let my skin sit for maybe five to 10 minutes until it's dried down. Then I will put a pea-sized amount of my tretinoin cream, then my moisturizer on top. And the third pairing is using tretinoin with resveratrol plus ferulic acid. And this is from The Ordinary. So this is an antioxidant serum and antioxidants are great to brighten up your complexion. So if you're someone with that dull complexion, tretinoin, retinol, and retinaldehydes can really improve that. But this product really helps to get you to that brighter complexion quicker. Also, this can help to address signs of aging as well. And it's one of my favorite products from The Ordinary. And I've always said that this is underrated. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. And it's great even paired up with vitamin C serums. And I used to pair up those two a lot in my morning routine. But I really love it with tretinoin because I really do like the way that they pair up together. My skin just glows and just the clarity and the tone of my skin looks improved. So so I don't use this pairing as much as the other two that I just shared, but I do like to use this once in a while and when I do, I really love the results that I see. So this is oil free, but it does have that oily texture to it. So again, another reason why I love this serum with tretinoin because it just keeps the skin nice and comfortable and yes, I still like to use amino acids with it. So again, I will go in with this first. I then go in with the resveratrol plus ferulic acid. So I will do maybe two to three drops of this all over the face and then of course I go in with my tretinoin and moisturizer. So if you're not into peptides for whatever reason then using resveratrol plus ferulic is a great option to go with and of course there are other pairings that you can use also like niacinamide with your tretinoin. You can also use hyaluronic acid if you really wanted to which is a humectant. It's not going to exfoliate. It helps with hydration. But in my opinion, the amino acids does a better job compared to the hyaluronic acid. And that's just from my experience. So these three pairings really are game changing depending on what you're looking for. And I can't recommend them enough. But these products will be linked below for you for your reference. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it helpful. And most importantly, I hope I introduced you to a new pairing today. So let me know if you've tried any of these pairings before. Are you going to be trying them and if you do please come back and let me know how it worked for you thank you so much for watching i always do appreciate it and of course i will see you all in the next video take care and i will see you all then bye guys